Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Great to see you here. Thanks for checking out this video. Today's video, I wanted to review the Stand By Me, the 4K UHD Blu-ray release here. I picked this up recently over the Christmas, coming up to Christmas, and yeah, I just thought I would do a video about it here. Just a couple of technical things about this release, Stand By Me. This is originally a 1986 movie, I believe. Yeah, 2019 release here by Sony on 4K UHD. Movie itself is gonna run 88 minutes long. You're getting a Dolby Atmos, Dolby True HD 7.1 audio mix on this, and it's a 1.85 to one aspect ratio, so that nice full screen picture. So just a little bit about Stand By Me, if you're not aware, this is based on the Stephen King novella, The Body, really, really cool. This kind of tells the story of four young friends who kind of in the summer of 1959 in Oregon, they kind of set out on this, I don't even say adventure, they kind of set out to find the body of this missing teenager uh, from their area who nobody can find. And they kind of set out to find the body and they sort of think they're gonna become the heroes of the town by finding the missing teenager. Let's look at the AV quality of this release, Stand By Me. I just wanna mention before I talk about this, I am not upgrading from the previous Blu-ray release of this. I'm upgrading from this old 2000 DVD release of Stand By Me. We're gonna see a lot of the bonus features moved over from DVD to this 4K disc here with some new stuff, but we'll take a look at that in a minute. Let's talk about AV quality audio. The Dolby Atmos Dolby True HD 7.1 mix, really nice sound mix. I listened to the first half of the movie with my Denon receiver on the Dolby True HD setting and then I switched to the Atmos mix for the second half of the movie. Uh, really nice, no complaints from me on either. Picture quality, nice 4K restoration. 4K restoration done properly on this one. Great job by Sony. The grain looks nice in there, really, really well done. Uh, color grading, I like the color grading on the 4K disc here. The daytime scenes are nice and bright and you you know, the landscape shots and stuff, really, really cool. Uh, the dark scenes as well, like they kind of set a campfire at night and when they're camping out and uh, really nice, like kind of low light stuff, campfire light, uh, HDR kicks in and the darks uh, look really nice in there on the 4K. I will mention there is some soft focus shots within the movie, but that's just the originally how the movie was shot in film. So they, um, they can't do much about that now. Uh, in the 4k restoration here but um yeah there's some fantastic like camera crane shots of you know the four kids walking along the train tracks kind of walking away from camera and the crane kind of pulling up and away like really really great like some fantastic looking shots in the movie just a couple of standout set pieces in the movie i thought i would mention here that are really well done the train dodging scene when the kind of kids set off originally. We have Corey Feldman's character, Eddie, kind of, there's a train coming so they get off the tracks and he wants to kind of do a chicken with the train until River Phoenix's character, Chris, kind of pulls him off the last minute. Uh, really, really great scene there. The uh, the whole junkyard scene is really, really cool with the, the, the dog chopper, the kind of like legend of this dog chopper that's going to attack you if you're caught in the junkyard. The, uh, the railway bridge, they kind of go, they're following the railway track throughout the movie to get to where they think the body is and they have to go across this railway bridge um, and they're kind of halfway across and the train's coming behind them so uh, I'll leave it at that I don't want to spoil in case you guys haven't seen this one that's a really cool scene um, the Will Wheaton's character tells a kind of a Gordy tells a kind of a funny story about a Python contest it's a story he's written in the movie um, really really cool really funny moment in the movie as well um, leeches in the swamp they kind of they all kind of end up falling into this kind of swamp thing to get across uh, a, a kind of um kind of a shortcut through the forest and um they all kind of come out of this the swamp kind of lake thing full of leeches it's kind of a funny slash shocking scene as well and finally the standoff with the body and um, they find the body and then the kind of other sort of uh some of their older brothers and Kiefer Sutherland is a kind of a, a main kind of villain in the movie uh they kind of arrive to claim the body as well and there's a bit of a standoff and I won't give away any more than that I just also wanted to mention the cast on this I mean I don't know how old, how old these guys were back in 86 87 when this came out um pretty young I'm guessing they don't like maybe they were around 12 ish something if even that but they, these guys were absolutely fantastic in this like Will Wheaton plays Gordy River Phoenix plays Chris you have Corey Feldman playing Eddie Jerry O'Connell plays Vern um you have Kiefer Sutherland there as Ace as the kind of main villain as I mentioned and actually a favorite of mine John Cusack has a small role in this as Denny who plays Gordy's older brother and um, who has passed away in the movie so there's some kind of flashback scenes in there and this one is also directed by Rob Reiner. Let's talk bonus features on Stand By Me 4K. On the actual 4K disc itself there is six minutes of never before 
scene alternative and deleted scenes they are only in hd quality but uh, really interesting to see some of them don't even have audio on them but uh, yeah kind of interesting all the other bonus features are on the the blu-ray disc so this one comes with a slip it's the same artwork inside and when we flip it over open here's the blu-ray disc and here is the 4k disc so all the other bonus features are on that blu-ray disc in this release now what i will mention is um literally all the bonus features on the blu-ray disc are the same as the bonus features on this dvd release now i am not going to get rid of my dvd release out of my collection Here's the reason why, let me talk through these bonus features. There's 40 minutes of bonus features on the Blu-ray disc in this and this DVD here. So you are getting this, um, you are getting like walking the tracks this summer of Stand By Me. It's kind of like a 37 minute, like sort of making of, uh, really, really kind of cool sort of documentary in there. And there's an audio commentary by director Rob Reiner, which is also on this. You get music videos, Benny King, Stand By Me on both. Uh, the only different bonus feature from the DVD to the Blu-ray disc that I can find is this thing called picture-in-picture -picture commentary with director Rob Reiner and actors Will Wheaton and Corey Feldman. So when you kind of select that option on the Blu-ray disc, um, now I did look online and I've seen some other people have the exact same issues as me. So I don't know if this is an issue with the disc manufacturing, but basically when you select that kind of option to view the movie, which is supposed to be a small picture box down the bottom of the screen with the three guys kind of doing the audio commentary over the movie on the main screen and um, you get like a four minute intro where they kind of meet each other in the recording studio then the movie starts but my issue when i played try to play this audio commentary uh, selection is the picture in picture never comes up and i've seen some other people review this release and have the same issue i'm not too sure what the issue is but when you you can select a separate audio track for the movie the movie's just playing and these guys are supposed to pop up in the, one of the bottom corners and uh, picture in picture but it never works for me and it's the only difference between the blu-ray blu-ray bonus features and the dvd bonus features the reason i will not get rid of my dvd here um i'm pretty nostalgic for different cover art so that's one reason second reason um it's not really like a, a huge bonus feature here but i want to mention that the dvd features an option to have the isolated score so basically you can play the movie on this dvd release with no dialogue you can just hear the score um it's not like a must-have bonus feature or anything but there isn't an option for that at all on the 4k or the blu-ray release so it's just a nice extra option to have so i will be holding on to my standby me dvd if this is the same blu-ray release as previously then it's not on the blu-ray disc that's in the 4k release so if you have standby me on dvd and you want that isolated score track do hold on to your dvd copy Final thoughts on Standby Me 4K, uh, great looking restoration, nice audio mix, Atmos 7.1 through HD, um, brilliant, brilliant coming of age movie, highly recommend. The cast are fantastic in this, these four young guys, really cool. Uh, and as, as I mentioned, Kiefer Sutherland, John Cusack is in there as well. Uh, really, really great movie. And um, yeah, highly recommend. If you haven't got this one, do add it into your collection. That's going to do it for another video here on the Movie Vault, guys. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, consider hitting that little bell to get notified every time I post a new video. If you want to help support the Movie Vault in other ways, don't forget to check out my Patreon account where there is exclusive content not featured here on the main channel. And my t-shirt store, all links are in the description. Let me know down in the comments, guys. Are you going to pick up Stand By Me 4K? Do you have the old dvd release are you going to hold on to that in your collection let me know in the comments thanks as always for watching i'm going to leave some videos on screen here and here that you may be interested in checking out thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys on the next video